Hey, hey, it's a new day and welcome back to my channel. I'm currently running around trying to get out the door here. I was setting out a bunch of ingredients to make cupcakes when we get back. We're gonna make some delicious pumpkin cream cheese cupcakes. Anyway, I was letting Miller play with the cream cheese boxes and now I can't find, I can't find the other one. I don't know, where can you put it, you know? So I thought it'd be fun to just take you guys around for a weekend in my life. I would love to say typical weekend, but there is no typical weekend. Um, there's a few things that stay constant. Like usually on Fridays, I will go for groceries. I will work out. Um, I already went for my groceries yesterday though, because I knew today I was going to be meeting up with some friends. My one friend from out of the area is up today. And so we're going to September farm. They recently got a playground. So we're going to go there and they have really good coffee and food. So it's going to be just a fun girls morning. I'm going to take you along for church on Sunday. Yeah, we'll see all that um, and yeah, you can just see what a typical Mennonite family does on the weekend um, Might look a little different than you. We will see anyway I'm trying to get my shoes on so we can get out the door, but I wanted to show you my new kicks Oh my word, I did it. I don't know if you watched that last life update video But I did a whole fashion segment in there of feminine fall fashion So definitely check that out and in there I said I didn't want to buy a bunch of new things but I was really wishing for some nice blinding white sneakers. I've already worn them a couple times guys. How did I do? They're still pretty white. So yeah, I don't know if you go into your weekends with any specific goals in mind. I feel like weekends can either be like super productive, super relaxing, or super busy. Um, and I like all three in moderation. And yeah, I'm excited to take you along on this weekend vlog. I have three kids. Oh, here's one of them. Hi. You're gonna go play at the big playground at September Farm? They have a new playground there, a brand new one. Mm -hmm. But what is it called? September? September Farm. Oh. Yep. Okay, shut the door and go put your shoes on quick. I'm a mom of three littles currently. I'm missing my kindergartner. She goes to school on Fridays, so I'm not gonna get to see her till later today. Your rain boots? No. Because you can't put on a slide in rain boots. Let's go. Sorry for the bad lighting, but Josh is happening to be working on our route to September Farm, so we are gonna swing in and say hi to him. Oh my goodness, it was so funny. So Josh, um, I saw him walking down the street with his tool belt on and I put my window down and I saw there was a lady there in the corner with her dog. So I cat called at Josh <laughs> and she whips her hat around. It was so funny. I'm like, that's my husband. She's like, ah, gotcha. And she like laughed. Anyway, it looked like she had a very good sense of humor. It was funny. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> um, but it was so cute. I wanted to share a little story this morning. And Fletcher, my three-year-old, I was playing children's music and he's like, God made me. I'm like, yes, he did. And he's like, and God made our dad. I'm like, we don't have the same dad. I said, Grandpa's my dad. I said, who's your dad? And he's like, can we pray for our dad? So I prayed for Josh as we're driving down the road, you know, and I'm done. He's like, no, pray more. So I prayed more. And then he's like, that's good. But anyway, that's what gave me the idea to check in where Josh was working because I was like, I think he misses his daddy a little bit. Miller's falling asleep. Miller's falling asleep. Well, that's good. He's supposed to take his nap. restaurants, coffee shops. Um, yeah, it's definitely more of a circus than when you go just with a bunch of girls, but it was super fun. They had a drink there called Sweater Weather. I've been just making my own coffees lately. I don't remember the last time I ordered one somewhere, but their coffees are so good. And I wanted to try this. It's a nitro cold brew, which means there's like all that fizz in there. And I'm a little skeptical though, because normally I put way more um, milk in my lattes and this just has a vanilla cold foam on the top. The sweater weather came with caramel, but I don't like caramel flavor, so I got it with vanilla syrup. So let's have a taste. Okay, this is how I want to drink my coffees. Not like, just very lightly sweet and very coffee. Yeah, about four sips in, I'm gonna be loving it. It's just a little stronger than I normally make it myself, but 
that's good. I'm trying to wean myself off of so much sweetener in my drinks, but I've kind of lost hope by now. <laughs> got home I did some laundry put the kids down for their naps I put my coffee in the freezer I'm gonna doctor it up later and make it a little sweeter and drink it tonight at the ball game we have a ball game tonight I'll explain that all later um, but I think I'm dehydrated oh my goodness I have just been drinking and drinking and drinking the whole way home and now I'm drinking more I just can't not I mean I did have a Reuben sandwich for lunch so that was probably pretty salty but I just feel like I need liquid <laughs> anyway I thought before Ivani I have to go out and I don't have to, but I like to watch for her to get off the bus. And so I have about 45 minutes till that happens. So I want to make some, I'm supposed to bring along two dozen items of baked goods for our church's camp out this weekend, which we can't even go to because it's Josh's ball tournament weekend as well. So it's like two things in one weekend. That is how it goes around here. I feel one weekend, nothing happens. And the next weekend, you know, you have three things you could be at. So anyway, we are going to go up for church camp out on Sunday. We're going to have our outdoor church service. I will, yeah, take you guys along for a little bit of that. I am helping with Sunday lunch, which they are doing a haystack, basically like a taco salad bar. Um, and I'm supposed to bring 25 pounds of ground beef. So I fried up 10 pounds. And then last night, Josh fried up the last 15-ish pounds of meat. And then I'm also supposed to bring a gallon of ranch. Um, for a topping and two dozen of baked goods. And so it's fall. And I've just been craving cream cheese and chocolate chip pumpkin cupcakes. They're so delicious. Um, this is actually a very typical Mennonite recipe. I will put the link to the chocolate version down below if you are watching this video and it's not like a seasonal pumpkin time of year. If you're watching this not in the fall time and are not feeling pumpkin, make the chocolate version. It is so delicious, but I'm gonna do the pumpkin variety this time. I'm very excited. Actually, Heidi Marie on Instagram reminded me that it even existed. I'm gonna try hers today, but I do have my own version. I will link down below as well. Mine takes uh, yellow cake mix, but it also takes a lot more pumpkin and I don't have that much. So I'm gonna make her version here and I'm gonna see how it is. I'm sure it's good. I feel like people are always resharing it on Instagram. Call me biased, I know, but I don't remember ever going to a fancy cupcake shop and eating a cupcake that tasted better than a homemade Mennonite cupcake. You just can't beat them. They're so much um, more moist. I hate that word. <laughs> yeah, they're just so much better. So anyway, I may be biased. I acknowledge that. But yeah, let's get these things in the oven.
your apple? And on my birthday, it's just going to be my little cousin. So why is there a drawing on the back of here? Did you get done early? Yeah. Wow. And Or was this art class or just for fun? And they said that, that wherever they're on the screen, that means it starts with in. Like what? It starts with eh, eh. Or no. like eh. Eh, eh. But it didn't, cause, but it was a bug. Insect. Uh huh, and then it and then I said such as it and then it says insect. I can only not answer a question one time. Yeah, because you have to let the other children have a turn. I live for that little girl to come home. It's it's the best part of the day for sure. I did want to show you though. I got her this little scratch and sketch unicorn book. She's on to princesses, and I got it for her bus ride. Her bus ride is like thirty minutes or so. Um, it does have a wizard in there, which we talked about that. But anyway, I will link it down below if anybody's interested. She loves it. It keeps her busy. It's something she can do on the bus. It doesn't require such fine motor skills because you're just like scratching things. It's a great activity for her and hopefully it lasts her like a month or two or three um, before I have to buy her another one because they're not the cheapest but I definitely don't regret it. She she loves it. But anyway let's sample one of these little cupcake creations. I left them in the oven too long. They were supposed to come out right as the bus was coming. So I was out there. I left them in a little bit long but I think they'll be okay. Let's see. See all the cream cheese and the chocolate chips there on the top. Oh yum. Mmm, it is very delicious. I still prefer the chocolate version um, with the pumpkin. It's not quite as sweet because it's pumpkin, but wow. Mmm. Yeah, okay. Well, I'm taking these along to our church camp out. I think they will get devoured. So I typically do a little bit of YouTube work every day of the week except on Sundays. Um, I really don't take the weekend off. Um, I always, that's the goal every time and there's always something every time, no matter what. I can never work ahead enough. I try to have my videos turned in by Mondays. Um, and by turned in, I mean just like finalized. That way if they need to go to a brand for them to look at them, great. Or if it's just an unsponsored video, then I have it sitting there waiting to go for Thursday. But I think I need to start making my deadline be Fridays so that I have the weekend, you know? Um, it's just... Yeah, it is what it is at the moment, but I wanted to say all of you that take the time to comment, I've been feeling really torn about comments lately. Um, when I post a video, honestly, it's the scariest and the best part of my week all at the same time. I don't really know how to explain it. One, I'm afraid nobody's going to show up. And then when you guys do, it's just amazing. Yeah, there's just so many nice people on here and I'm just, yeah. Thank you for being here, I guess is what I'm trying to say. But I was listening to Angela Braniff do a Q&A and she had a question. People that don't know you, what do you tell them that you do for a living? And that question just cracks me up, number one, because I'm a Mennonite mom. Nobody ever asked me what I do for a living. Like, never. It never happened. They just assume I am a stay-at-home mom and my husband makes the money and I stay at home because that's kind of a typical culture and I'm not knocking that. I think that's actually great. Um, and that's actually the goal for our family too. Like Josh is like, he wants me to be able to Kids first priority and he'll um, be the breadwinner. But when you have a hobby that also can help your family out, it's just amazing. But I was thinking about it and for the last like year or two, that's been a great icebreaker question. I try to ask um, when you're with a group of people that you might not know all know each other or you're just trying to get to know each other, ask them what they do for fun or maybe the exact script. So what do you do when you're not taking care of your babies in your house? It's so interesting. Everybody has diverse hobbies, you know? Um, even stay at home mom, we're not boring. We all have our like little quirks and things that we find fun. I've had people say to me anything from like, oh, they enjoy running to gardening to baking. I don't know, it's just really fun to connect. You know, maybe you have a, both an interest in books or something like that. I don't know, I feel like it also acknowledges that us as moms have a whole nother side to us too. We're not just bed makers and supper cookers and all that stuff, so. <laughs> Okay, so the kids are up from their naps and I've been in the kitchen all afternoon. So we're just gonna have leftovers for supper because we need to get out the door here pretty soon, which I'm excited because leftovers doesn't mean it's not good, especially when it's Green Chef leftovers. Last night I made their chicken tortilla soup with homemade tortilla chips. It was so good and Josh wasn't home last night. So that's why we have a good amount of leftovers because he wasn't home for the evening. So I'm just gonna heat that up and Green Chef is sponsoring a portion of today's video. I love Green Chef and I think guys, try them out if you haven't already. I have a great deal for you again. Green Chef 
as a CCOF certified organic company and they have options for every lifestyle including keto and paleo, vegan, vegetarian, fast and fit, Mediterranean and gluten free options as well. And they are always changing it up. Honestly, they have so many new options. Here's the tip, whatever you put in your box, make sure you get whatever burger they have on the menu for that week. I love all of their burgers, their pork burgers, their beef, bur everything. So delicious, they're some of our family's favorites. But this is a great time of year to try them out. I feel like they have so many hearty comfort food recipes, I like this soup here. Also, I always like to pick out something in kind of an Asian theme because I don't know what I'm doing when it comes to that kind of cooking. This week we had the sriracha tamari beef bowls. They were delicious. And also the garlic thyme pork chops, which that sounds like a Mennonite thing, right? You know, um, comfort food at its best. Also, I'm a meal planner, so it makes that super easy for the week. And they have farm fresh ingredients like figs and dates and artichokes, things that I typically don't buy at the grocery store because I don't know what I'm doing with those ingredients. Also, Green Chef comes right to your door, so that makes it super painless and easy. And right now, they gave me a code for you guys to try it out. So, Megan Fox 135 is gonna get you $135 off across five boxes, plus free shipping on your first box. So, go to greenchef.com to find out more. And if you're like me and get the family plan and you have little kids, you might just have leftovers for the next day. Or not, sometimes we don't have leftovers because it's just, it's just that good. I have them for my kids and they have like this nozzle top and I got it in two more colors so that we have them for spares and I wanted Miller to have one. So yeah, I will link these below. They work great. They have all different colors. They all come with a flip top nozzle like this and then also they said a second one along which does not work for kids. It's just like a pour top which doesn't work because they just leave their water bottle out and it leaks everywhere. And even comes with a little drainer if you want to like strain fruit through it or something. Here's Ivani's and then here's Fletcher's. So yeah, these work great for all ages, and I'm gonna give this one to my 10 month old. This will be for water only, mister. Water only, mister, no milk. No milk. <laughs> okay, we are ready to go. I feel like a um, Scottish bagpiper or something. Here's the bagpipe, here's the tartan stuff. <laughs> anyway, we're going to a ball game, and I wasn't even gonna change, but he is teething, and so I feel like there's just snot on me, I don't know. Too much information, I know. So Josh's team actually landed in the number one spot this year, so I'm very excited for him. We are going to playoffs tonight, and then tomorrow is the championship games. So he can play all day tomorrow, possibly, if they lose. If they win and win and win, then they don't have to play as often. Obviously, that makes sense. So yeah, we'll see how it goes. I hope for his sake that they do a great job because he has not been in the championships in years. And so it's very exciting, right? Yeah. If you're looking for any tips for me on how to keep your kids clean at ball games, You've come to the wrong spot. My kids look breaded in dirt when they get home, honestly. Um, and you just have to be okay with it. It's just how it has to be. And then we put them in the bathtub and scrub them down and put them to bed. So, <laughs> just is what it is. Um, but yeah, we always bring our sand toys along so they can play in the dirt. So yeah, I'll take you guys along for a little bit of it, at least. I did not mention that Josh is the pitcher. Josh, if you see him, has two black eyes right now. It's baseball related. A ball hit him right in the face. It could have been way worse. I'm just so glad it was only black eyes. He thinks he could have broken his nose, he doesn't know. I think he's nuts, he should've went to the doctor, but he said there's no point, so. I actually love that he plays ball. It's a great chance for the kids to play with kids their own age, the great outdoors, I don't know. It's fun, I love it. Okay, good morning. I'm getting ready for the day. Josh just called. They won their morning game, so we're gonna be over there in 
yeah, we need to leave and get going. It's actually 9 11, and I've been like stalling around this morning waiting to see, like, what are we getting ready for? Are they gonna get kicked out? Or are they gonna keep going? What's going on? Anyway, so yes, I'm so excited. We're headed over there. I'm gonna try to get out the door in the next 10 minutes. So I'm just doing my morning skincare, very important, <laughs> right? Um, I'm using just Tula's, these are their brightening drops. And then I started using their SPF, which feels so good on your skin. It's a 30 SPF and it's like a glowy one, so it feels so good. Um, and what I started doing is always using like with the oil and anything, I just use extra product so I can really slather it on. And then I rub it on my hands because I feel like your hands can really age you. I'm also using the cocoa butter formula. This is like to me to slather, I used to slather this like on my belly and stuff, but try it on your lips. I know that sounds really gross. It's like a body um, butter, but on your lips, it feels so good. I burned them at a young age when I was like 16. Um, so bad they turned white and blistered and it's, it was not good. So I always have something on my lips at all times. Or I feel like I can't even speak. I used native deodorant and I'm ready to go. I'm trying to decide if I even want to do any makeup or not. I feel like I'm very grunge today, but I love it. Yes, I'm wearing Josh's shirt. He got this at his latest golf tournament and I just kind of took it from him. It's a medium, it's his size, but it's very comfy and like very no fuss. I don't want to be worrying about my clothes when I'm over at a ball game, so. I think this is gonna be the outfit for the day. But anyway, I'm so excited. Josh is gonna be playing ball all day, hopefully, but the minute they lose this next game, then they're done. So we'll see how long we can string this along, and I will take you along this evening. I think we might actually be going swimming. We'll see. What did you find, Fletcher? Yes, I promised them these this morning. These are so fun. I get them at a local grocery store called Organ Dairy, but they are flavored straws that you drink milk through. Bonnie, what are you doing this morning? Oh, the arts and crafts, always, always arts and crafts. Thumbs up, Fletcher. Thumbs up. Miller, no, no, no. No wonder you're so quiet over here. You're eating chocolate bars, wrapper and all. Oh my goodness, no, no, no. He's at that stage, you turn your back for one second and boom. So if you are wondering, I did not drink my coffee yesterday. It just wasn't sweet enough and um, I did pop it in the freezer so maybe I'll doctor that up for another day. But I haven't had iced coffee in a while so I'm gonna make one right here, and I have Nitro Cool Brew on tap because of my own little Nitro Press. Check it out, I'll link it below. Basically, it puts like nitrogen into your coffee, but it's almost all gone. <laughs> the nitrogen is actually in these little capsules. It kind of infuses it with like little bubbles. Yeah, there's nothing like it. Okay, so it is much later now. I got home from the ball games. They did not win. They were kicked out by lunchtime, I think it was. We still hung around there a little while and then we got home and I took some time to clean out the van. It's just always an absolute wreck after the ball tournaments. And I did some work on the front porch. The weather is was just so beautiful today that when the kids woke up from their naps, we decided we're gonna go to the park. Um, we went to a different park than we normally go to. It's called a let it's treehouse park or something. We went with my brother and sister-in-law and just hung out there and just like the air was literally delicious. Like, <laughs> I don't know how else to say it. This time of year is just so beautiful. So we didn't have any supper because we had eaten kind of a late lunch and we decided we were really hungry after all. So we ordered a pizza on the way home. Um, we got a bacon and mushroom pizza and some loaded fries and it was so amazing. We ate it at like eight o'clock at night, but Anyway, now the kids are in bed and I think Josh and I are gonna sit out on the front porch on our new patio furniture that we got and I made blueberry smoothies. Um, I will put here how I made them. This recipe is so good. It's very, very simple, but it's so delicious. I didn't even taste this yet, hang on. <laughs> I mean, it's our go-to. What else is there to say? The whipped cream was a nice added touch, but yeah. We rarely stay at home on Saturday nights, at least that's not the goal. Like if we don't have plans, we try to make plans or invite people over. Um, I don't know, we live in Lancaster County. You don't stay home on a Saturday night, I feel. I mean, we could, but we're very social people, I guess, too. And there's always something to do, it seems. And I have such a list of things I wanna do in September here, different events. I was just looking at my calendar and there's so many weekends that have like three or four things overlapping and we just can't do them all. 
I feel like September in Lancaster County is just like beautiful and everybody has to have all their events scheduled in. So we'll see how many of them we can actually fit in. But now I feel like I'm talking to you with blueberry in my teeth. Since we didn't do a ton tonight, we actually got home. It's 9.13. The kids just went to bed. So we didn't even stay out super late, which is great because tomorrow we have to get up a little bit early. We're headed up to a local campground. It's like 40 minutes away. And our church has been camping out there this weekend. Like I said, every weekend is double booking. So yeah, that's why we couldn't go to church camp out because of ball tournaments. But anyway, we will go up for church tomorrow, have lunch. And yeah, I'll take you guys all along for that and we'll see how that goes down. It's Sunday. Hey, it's raining. Sundays are my favorite day of the week I think right now honestly um, that was not our normal typical church service as I'm sure you've gathered that was our church camp out weekend and that was the Sunday morning service like I said we couldn't make it to the actual camping out part we had a taco salad bar if you're familiar um, I made the ranch dressing which was super good I used that bulk ranch mix that we got from Costco and it worked out really well with mayo and milk and yeah it was delicious it was perfect for that I'm not a huge taco fan person, but a good dressing, I'll eat it, yeah. I wore a very simple outfit today, it was just camping out. Um, but this top is a little extra special with the ruffles. I have it in two colors actually, I'll link it below. You can, I love that at our church you can kind of do what you want, I guess, as far as dressing up. Nobody typically wears jeans on a Sunday morning, but yeah, you can be more casual in like khaki pants or like white denim skirt or something if you want to, or you can totally dress up. You know, after you're in a wedding, you can wear your bridesmaids dress to church and you're not gonna look that out of place. Once in a while, Josh will wear a tie. That's not as common, but yeah, it, it kind of, it really can run the gamut, I guess. But I do feel like as a whole, Mennonite churches often dress up a lot more. But yeah, um, I like dressing up for church. I like having church clothes and then like non-church clothes. Um, so I hope that's not something that gets lost over the years, I guess you could say. Uh, I, I always joke to Josh that there's not enough reasons to dress up in life anymore because, you know, as a mom, how often do we get to dress up and feel pretty? And I don't know. I like doing that on Sundays. Also, I hope you enjoyed that singing there. At our church, we don't sing along to a piano normally. That was a special service. Um, normally it's just acapella singing, a lot of hymns. Today was more of a praise and worship style, which we do maybe like once a month. Again, the church I came from, we would have just sang hymns pretty much. So yeah, I hope you're getting the gist that Mennonite church services could definitely look very different from each other. Um, but as a whole, if you ever decide to visit a Mennonite church, you probably wanna, um, you don't have to dress up necessarily, wear something as nice as you have, but if not, go anyway. Just try to be respectful and dress modestly. No, you don't have to cover your head or anything. If you want to go visit a midnight church, that's not expected whatsoever. Just know that if you have small children, they're probably gonna have to sit a while during the service. The service is usually like 45 minutes to an hour, plus there's sharing time in there. Sunday school, they get to go to a classroom and all that stuff. But yeah, it can be a lot of sitting if you're not used to it. But yeah, I really can't explain the Mennonite culture. You just kind of have to experience it for yourself. <laughs> I think also growing up as a Mennonite, you sometimes aren't very conscious of like the things that make you a little weird or a little different and I mean weird in an endearing good way like I don't mind being weird I love our culture and I don't know the Mennonites just have a really strong community and so I really I really appreciate that too not to get too chatty here but as far as Sundays normally we do not do work I don't edit on Sundays I don't drop links on my Instagram on Sundays or anything like that like it's not a money-making day or anything um, I do film sometimes on Sundays just because like you know today it called for it and I don't really feel that is work it's more fun I'm chatting with friends it's hardly work right 
I do do online shopping Sunday afternoons. In fact, sometimes I will save that for Sunday afternoons because I will like do research. Like right now I need to order blinds for our bedroom, some different stuff like that. And it's a nice thing to just sit back and relax. I don't have any time crunch or anything. It's a Sunday afternoon after all, I can just kick back and relax. And yeah, I'll do a lot of like price researching and stuff on things that I'm looking for. You know, whether it's like a birthday present coming up or just house things, that kind of stuff. I'll kind of put that on my Sunday list. I'll order pictures, sometimes work on a photo album or something, which speaking of which, I cannot wait to get these pictures in frames above my fireplace. Oh, I love this one. <laughs> and here, here's the big daddy. I got these printed at Walmart actually, and they did a pretty good job this time around. They're sometimes pretty spotty, you never know. Um, but my cousin, she made me some awesome Christmas cards, greeting cards. She has a card shop and she has amazing prices and amazing quality. So she actually has a code that you guys can use right now. It's like an early bird special. I will put all the details here on the screen and down below as well. But if you are wanting to do Christmas cards this year, can I highly suggest Springhouse Creative. Yeah, you will not be disappointed. And I know it seems early to be thinking about Christmas cards, but alas, it'll be here before you know it. But yeah, people will draw different lines on, I guess, like what they would do on a Sunday. We don't typically shop on a Sunday, but we'll run out to the grocery store if we need something for hosting. And like tonight, my parents are coming over. It's my grandma who just passed, it's her birthday. And so I invited my parents over for some apple dumplings. So we're gonna do that later this evening. It's a rainy, cozy day, so. My grandma always made the best apple dumplings, so I just thought that would be fun to do to honor her and remember her. If you've been around on my channel for a while, you'll know that Sunday afternoons are my me time, is what I call it. Sometimes Josh will leave and go hit the driving range or something while the kids are napping, and I will do my planning for the week, some reading, and just, yeah, kick back and do a lot of what I say is wasting time. <laughs> I don't waste time ever. Um, I mean, I really can't afford to. Right now, in the stage of life that I'm in, I feel like there's always a purpose in about everything I do. Otherwise, I just don't do it. I guess, are walks a waste of time? I don't think they are. I like to go on walks too. I will often go on a walk or a jog Sunday afternoons if it's nice. If it's not, I just cozy up with all my artsy stuff and my books and all that. Um, but this afternoon, the Eagles are playing, so this afternoon I'm gonna sit down in front of the TV with Josh. But yeah, Sunday afternoons are pretty chill. We usually go away in the evenings. We often will have like social plans. If not, we make plans <laughs> for the most part, or even if it's just a little family thing, like going swimming or on a bike ride or something here in the fall. We'll just, you know, plan it just to be out of the house. I don't know, I don't feel like staying home is that relaxing. Me and Josh both like, <laughs> I feel like when we're at home, there's always work staring us in the face. And so it's better just to get out and go. I guess that's the type of people we are. I know a lot of you might be completely opposite from that. I'm sorry for chatting your ear off. Let me know down below any more questions you have about Mennonites and Sundays. It's definitely a day I feel like our culture is a little different than ma maybe mainstream America. Um, and I would love to answer that in a Q&A coming up or maybe show in a dedicated Sunday in my life type of video. Anyway, it was so fun hanging out with you all this weekend and I'm gonna turn the camera off now, go hang out with my husband, do all the stuff that I just mentioned and hang out with my family tonight. But yeah, I really appreciate you all showing up and make sure you check out Green Chef and their awesome deal they have right now going on. And I'll see you all in my next one. Bye everyone. Bye.